So this is just a quick look over a maxed farm, see what resources you can hopefully try and get once you've done it. These are all free, so let's jump into it. Hello and welcome, I'm Mystical, this is Mystical Gaming and we're back into Watcher of Realms and I wanted to go over a few things now I've maxed out the farm. Um, now, firstly, lumber mill, let's go over this to start with. Oh, congratulations, you've got more wood, right. Um, the lumber mill, terrible really. Uh, it, you produce far more than you're ever going to need. I mean, there are thousands of bits of wood here that you produce and you just keep producing and it doesn't really go anywhere. It's it's not really required and it just saps some resources from you as you're trying to level it up so that's it all you use the wood for is to upgrade the mine and to supply some cooking um, for firewood that is it uh, the mine however this is brilliant so this is uh the mine this is all free resources it's just ticking away in the background it can stack up to eight hours before it's maxed out and that's it you just get free resources from it that's your worst case scenario the three items at the bottom right here so we have got quartz which is like the low level ore that it gets and it goes on to pig iron and then uh, lastly there is this redstone ore that you need towards the end when you've maxed it out and you need so much of it this is the bit that that slows your progression down but the rest of it the coins uh, the xp the stamina the diamonds and the mithril that's just all free stuff so here here's what i got for eight hours so here is a look at what i got in an eight hour scenario so that's pretty much what you can expect i guess but it's a, it's only one snippet what i'll do is over the next week i'll just keep track of it and then next monday we'll have a look at everything i've got and we can see then how much you can actually expect to get and have a, have a better understanding of it but that's sort of fundamentally what i got in an eight hour window for the mine and that is all free every every part of that so it's free resources you can just go there and click claim and that's it so that is absolutely brilliant there she is ticking away and then every i think it's 45 seconds 50 seconds or so there's a new piece added to it and that just carries on for you so that's mine and absolutely fantastic free resources can't grumble about that that is brilliant and especially if i could get more mithril because that seems to be what i'm running low on all the time now the other four items so we've got the actual farm we've got the cooking here we've got the trading post here and we've got the um harbor over there right let's start off with with the farmland so you you produce your farm stuffs and then towards the end you've got these and then what you want to produce i think is the corn or the tomato because they're what you're going to need in the end recipes so so if you have a look at the cooking you scroll down to the bottom which is where we're all going to try and end up you've got curried crab and corn chowder never tried curried crab i like crab i like curry never before putting them together so the curry crab will supply you with 12,000 to 12,500 hero XP, which is nice. And then the corn chowder will supply you with 25 to 28 stamina. Doesn't seem very much, but it, it's free anyway, so you can store it up. So that's what you can actually get. And this is the amount of wood you're using. You're using 80 wood to produce one of these. It's ridiculous. So your recipes come from making the corn and making the tomatoes, and then you'll be able to make those recipes up. Now the other recipes down here are also other stuff that you may wish to produce, but that's depending on the trading hall, and we'll have a look at that last. So here is the harbour. Now the harbour, depending on where you wish to sail to, will depend on how much ore it's actually going to cost you because this is apparently the fuel which is weird because it sets sail on quartz which is odd but there you go so the beginning part here is milk this is what you're gonna you're gonna want even later game you're still gonna want the milk and um, when you're saving up towards the end you don't really need quartz and you don't want to ruin your higher level materials because you're still saving them to upgrade buildings so it is a good idea to start going here as soon as you end using quartz just to get a stockpile of this now also the other thing is you get is you get a, a voyage chest and contain any one of these in there which which is also nice because it's free which it doesn't change so should you do 16 hours or should you do 24 hours you are still only getting one chest the, the price cost goes up three times or, or doubles 
but the materials you get don't. They're slightly less than doubled or slightly less than tripled. So you get more resources back for doing it on an eight hour cycle than you do for just going on 24 hours. And also you'd get three chests as opposed to the one. So something there to bear in mind. Now, the other thing is, Towards the end, again, you're only going to want, you want your curry powder and you want your um, your pepper, which means you're only sort of going here, really, and you require pig iron and you're going to require the redstone ore. Yeah, pig iron and you're going to require redstone ore. Now, 80 and 80, that's about right. Seems to work on average that you would get that in eight hours. You seem to get sort of 10 an hour. That's sort of my, my take on it at the moment. That's just on how I feel I've been I've been mining it when I've been looking at how long I need before I'm I'm gonna up level uh, level up another structure. So that's fundamentally what you're looking for there. Uh, there are other places you can go to you can go up here and that will you you'll get your crab from up there should you require it you might have to do a couple of runs up there later but this may slow you down in your production of food. Now the other thing you've got here is the trading hall. Now, this, I've got two grey and one green chest. Um, we're, we're, I'll have a look through the week to see if they, they upgrade or anything else like that. But essentially, I'm using up these resources of the pepper. And then if I wanted to come in here, I'd have to use up curry again, which would make up a stamina potion for me or an XP potion. But my, my reward here is less than I would get as if I made up the food separately, with the exception of the coins. I mean, 24,000 gold, do you really want it? So I, I don't. I would rather take an excess of double the stamina and 2,000 less XP, but I may make up more than one dish, so I would I'd have a lot more. So I'm not too sure these are that good at the moment, certainly not on the grey level anyway. Again, 24, 26k gold. And then here, the extra part would be the dust. Do I really want dust? No, not really. It's uh, a useless commodity, really, now. Even early game, I'm not sure that you require legendary dust at all. You acquire it so quickly and get such a massive amount of it that, yeah, massive amount of it that it's not an issue. So, as a reward, it's meh. I have heard people have got. Um, rare crystals from that so that would be something as they go up so i'll have a look at those over the next week but that's essentially it when you're maxed out whether this trading hall is worth doing or not would be the question we'll have a play around with it because you've got to send your ship somewhere else so to get them and then if what we're pushing for is to get stamina and xp am i just better off doing these that's fundamentally the question so there you go that's it maxed out but it is free resources so that, that's always a plus isn't it so when, when you've got your mine done there she's mining away and now we've just got some more resources as well and you can't grumble at that so thank you very much for your time um i'm mystical this is mystical gaming happy gaming and uh you can see me in the video again soon i suppose right thank you very much for your time cheers goodbye